Hello? Bro, you said, Brad, we are going to give you some friendly ribbing. Some friendly ribbing. I don't know. <laughs> There's no what? applause there. Wow. Yo, shout out, shout out to Wet Kunai, though, with the raid. Thank you, homie. Yeah. Wet Kunai. Yo, shout out to Wet Kunai, Cook and Bunch. Oh, yeah, that, 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 that comment oh, definitely. Oh, my God. That comment, <laughs> that comment oh definitely came from Wet Kunai chat. Yo. Hey, Grand Yo, Kunai, Kunai, what's up? Kunai definitely cooked my shit, bro. Yeah. Okay, Grand Todakai is rocking the DJ instead of the JP this time. I don't know what you got on uh, DJ, but that's what's up, man. You know, I'm not, I'm not trying to sound like an apologist. I know you guys are tired of my shit, but I'm not really a big fan of uh, Rashid JP. It's kind of annoying. No, I believe that. And, and I mean, sick. the way that matchup went when they played in Winterside, like if you have a different character to pull out, definitely yeah. rep something different here. Yeah. Yeah, and I agree with doing it like right now rather than waiting in the set as well. Yeah. Nice pick up off the low strong. That ought to be enough to kill, and indeed it is. Grand Todakai is able to claim around. Here we go. Grand Todakai. Very, very good character switch. Here we go. The perfect parry showing its head. JB. And throwing that tornado, making that getting it established way, way early. Yes, sir. Very close punish. to the corner. Yeah, huge whiff punish, big damage here for JB. Gonna keep extending the pressure. Grand Todakai only got out of the corner in round one because there was a, a smart place to bust out. Parry pump gets blown up by the throw. One more touch is all it's gonna take here for JB. Grand Todakai needs to be pretty careful trying to move forward. Oh my god, what a cool that sway. Was choreography, but even though he did, I thought I saw the DI, but he didn't have enough health for it. Yeah, I think at that point, that's probably why he didn't even try to go for it. It was like, all right, I can't think of it at this level. Level two coming out once again for JB. Oh, wow, wow. Grand just Todakai. clipped low. I respect Grand Todakai for having no fear and just kind of just challenging the movement a little bit with the tornado. But man, just this corner position right here and the health loss and the bust out going, coming out from JB to put them back into the corner. Low meter on JB's side, but the fight back in the level three. We're going to put JB over here in burnout and Grand Todakai, the DJ pick, coming into full effect right now. Huge. And all of that off of a really smart backdash. These corner defensive choices have been really good. If I can make an aside, uh, I'm only just realizing how the pants on this costume make DJ's legs look way thinner. Oh yeah. With all his other costumes, they're baggy as hell. All right, here we go. Big pick up. You know black people corner. don't do leg day, bro. You know black people don't do leg day. My man with the skinny jeans on, you might want to take those back, bro. I ain't gonna lie, JB is up 2-0. It's definitely going better for Grand Todakai than I feel like the JP matchup did. I think it's just like it, the second JP starts to get on that roll and have the bar available to start busting out those level twos, it snowballs away. And the fact that these defensive choices that Grand Todakai is making are getting read out now is not making it any easier for him because it's snowballing from there. Yep, and DJ is really susceptible to DI because so many of his pokes are non-special cancelable. Yeah, you saw him flailing over there in the corner, which caused that. So now JB, uh-oh, big combo incoming though for Grand Todakai off of the punish counter in the big corner carry. So Grand Todakai was oh. here, but the wake up buttons. Smart spot to do it. And JB has a level two in the tank. Yep, just setting that one up. I think that was the situation. JB can be a little bit selective on where he chooses to bust out the level two. Nice counter DI from Grand Todakai. We don't level three. Oh no, we do. We just wait uh, later in it. All right, needs this swing around in his favor. Still super doable for JB, but yeah, just gonna wait it out. No, no reason to take a you know difficult. Uh, risky decision when you know you have a rounds to play it. Wow, checking the dry rush almost immediately in a good 30% for his trouble. Oh my goodness. Okay. The money jump fierce, but the crouching strong starter once again for Grand Todakai. One more touch ought to do it. Plus frames off of it. JB's got plenty of bar to try to push the issue, but I think you need maybe just a little bit too much to try to close this out here. Level two. Oh, just gets clipped. 
You know what, actually for Grand Todekai, the fact that he just got clipped there actually kind of means that it's not as much damage as it could have been. So yeah, that could have been a, a, a decently calculated spot to just not worry about it too much. But JB with the lead now. Go trying to drive rush out of the corner here for trying to force an option out of Grand Todekai right here and JB. Oh, oh my God, Green means go. Yep, sniping out the drive rush quick, fast in a hurry. 2-0 right now for JP. Oh, the, the fact that JB is checking those drive rushes, it's one of the things that I think were the first indication to people that DJ could have been a strong character, right? Was the strength of his drive rush. But the fact that JB is so comfortable checking it is forcing Grand Todekai to have to try to play more of a footsie game. And that's where the DI element comes back in. Does have corner control now, but JB's so effective at getting out. And the longer the set goes, the more effective he's been. Here we go. The tick throw is getting them quick. The speed is way too much right now for Grand Todekai. So now with a little bit of life to go, does get the wall crush into the DP. So here we go. One round to go for JB to move to meet Naji in grand finals. All right, level two comes out. Grand Todekai is gonna have to deal with this mix. Clipped by the low. Okay. We just reset into more standing pressure off of the low clip. Now JB's in a really strong position. Drive rush off the low forward. Tons of damage. Puts himself in burnout. Oh, is this going to be enough? Oh, I thought he was maybe banking on the level one. No, just the jabs. Grand Todekai goes for the wake up DI, but JB has time for the triple jab. And we are going to see the run back in grand finals. Naji, who has been patiently waiting in the call for this run back against JB. Yeah, I'm Bro, JB. Naji, don't play yet. Don't play yet. No, I'm not playing. All right, quick, quick little, quick little three minutes. But yeah, uh, thanks everybody. <laughs> shit's just been gangster. Mm. Can't believe this is, can't believe this is grand finals. Yeah, yo, Naji, Naji, look at the time, bro. Ten thirty. I already told you, bro. Hey, wait, 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 hold on. You said we, we would be done by 10.30. It's 10.33. Yeah, but we... Yo. Ooh. Yo. Ooh. Close enough, bro. We had bro. that JP close sim enough. matchup. Actually. Which actually cost us a lot of time. Both Damn. Actually. So, in the grand scheme of things, this is JP's oh, fault. Wow. This is, like, this is JP's what? fault. It's actually JP's fault. Did you have the glasses for the bit? Yes. Ooh. All right. 